Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a married couple in love that loves celebrating with the community. We do, and thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, 30,000 in the Definitely Not Definitive community. So uh, we wanted to say thanks. And um, this is a video that people have been asking for. We actually asked our patrons to vote on uh, some videos to check out for today. And uh, the ocean is way deeper than you think is what won. All right. Yeah. So but first, a toast to all of you for being the best community out there, for all your positivity and all your great suggestions and making us laugh every day. Thanks. Thank you. Ready to get spooked? Indeed. The ocean is really, really deep. Deeper, in fact, than most of us realize. If you were to shave off all of the land from the tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with that land, then the entire Earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. Three-fourths of our planet is already covered in water, though, and it goes a lot deeper than just two miles. Let's start with a sense of scale. This dot right here is the size of an <laughs> average human, this slightly larger dot is the size of an elephant, and this is the size of the largest ship ever built, the Nock Nevis. With that in mind, let's start going underwater and see what we find out. The first milestone is at 40 meters below the surface, which is the maximum depth allowed for recreational scuba diving. A little further Please. down at 93 meters is mm -hmm. where the wreck of the Lusitania was discovered, which is interesting because the Lusitania itself is 240 meters long, which means that it sank in water shallower than it is long, so if the <laughs> ship was standing on its stern or bow, it would be sticking out of the water. Just slightly deeper than that at 100 meters is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful because of decompression sickness. But that didn't stop a man named Herbert Nitsch to accomplish the free diving world record at a depth of 214. Oh, that is crazy. Whoa. Double that. This guy swam down to this level with just one single breath. But a little further down, at 332 meters, we have the scuba diving world record, which was accomplished by another man named Ahmed Gaber. If he had swam down another 111 meters, then he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was submerged underwater. Oh and a little God. further than that, at 500 meters below the surface, we arrive at the maximum dive depth of blue whales, the largest creatures on the planet and also the limit of the U.S. Seawolf-class nuclear submarine. At 535 meters, we can witness the maximum dive depth of Emperor Penguins, and this is when we must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this level below the surface, the water pressure exerted on a person, or the penguins, would be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. So further down the depths, oh at 830 meters, would be the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, tough. the tallest building in the world. Once we hit 1,000 meters below the surface, we begin to enter the scary zone. <laughs> Light from the surface can no longer reach beyond this point, so the rest of the ocean below is shrouded in permanent darkness. Ooh. On top of that, the water pressure you would experience at this point would be about the same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus, meaning that you would die very quickly. <laughs> you would also meet the giant squid at this sea level if the water pressure didn't already kill you. Oh, wow. At 1,280 no, meters, we reach the maximum depth dived to by the leatherback sea turtle, mm -hmm. and further down at 1,828 meters, we would reach the deepest part of the Grand Canyon were it to be underwater with us. Down at 2,000 meters, we start to encounter some of the more terrifying sea creatures, like the ominously named Black Dragonfish, a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it. Meaning that since we're in total darkness underwater at this point, the only way you would ever see this thing is with a flashlight. Holy crap! A little further oh down, at 2,250 meters, we would reach the maximum depth dived to by both sperm whales and the very frightening colossal squid. Sperm whales often have summer marks and scars left on their bodies from battles with a colossal squid that likely take place at these incredible depths. The squids themselves can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms with eyes the size of a dinner plate and razor sharp sickles in the middle of their tentacles. No thanks. So, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that down there. <laughs> so, yeah, good luck with that. At 3,800 meters, we can find the wreck of the RMS Titanic. And a bit past that, at 4,000 meters, we start to enter the abyssal zone of the ocean. Water pressure Sounds is fun. at an astonishing 11,000 pounds per square inch down here. And there are numerous strange, almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths, such as the fangtooth, anglerfish, Oh, yeah. And viperfish. Anglerfish. Down at 4,267 cool. meters is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally expect to hit the floor, but there are parts of the ocean that go significantly deeper than even this. At 4,791 meters rests the wreckage of the battleship Bismarck sunk during World War II, and way down at 6,000 meters is the beginning of the Hadal Zone, named after the underworld Hades itself. <laughs> 
The oh water pressure down at these depths can become 1,100 times what you would experience way back on top at the surface, which is roughly equal to an elephant balancing on a postage stamp or a <laughs> single person carrying the weight of 50 Boeing 747 jumbo jets. Oh my Swell God. these depths, you would be crushed immediately without any outside protection, but life still exists down here in various strange forms. At 6,500 meters, we reach the maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research hmm. submarine that helped to discover the Titanic. Way further down at 8,848 meters the below the surface, we have arrived at the height of Mount Everest, where it to be upside down and placed <sighs> underwater. And then, way further past even that, at 10,898 meters, we arrive at the depth reached by James Cameron in 2012 during the Deep Sea Challenger mission. The deepest point in the ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960, though, when two men named Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using their tree as a submarine. It took them five hours to descend through the ocean to this depth, and they only stayed for 20 minutes before a window cracked and they began to resurface. Yes! Just yeah. a bit further down Quickly. from there, at 10,972 meters, and we reached the average flight altitude of a commercial airliner. <laughs> so if you've ever looked out of a window while on a flight and looked down to the ground, that's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down into the abyss that we are currently at. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean called the Challenger Deep, hmm. right here on this map, just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. However, it is believed that there are almost certainly even deeper parts of the ocean than this that just haven't been discovered yet. It mm -hmm. wasn't until 1997, after all, that the Serena Deep was discovered with a depth of 10,732 meters, making it the second deepest known point in the ocean. It is estimated that only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, leaving the other 95% to be currently a mystery. Damn. It may be only a matter of time before an even deeper part of our ocean is found. And who knows what we may discover. <laughs> Crazy evil squids! So that was cool. It was nice getting the scale of it all. And um, I mean, you can fit Everest and more into the ocean. I mean, you think about it like that, that's, that's insane. Well, what I was just thinking of is like seeing, you know, how tiny the people are, the houses or the cars or at the heights when you can't even see those anymore, but you just see like land versus ocean. Um, and then thinking about you being under the ocean looking up and that's your frame of reference to the surface is just, I mean, that's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can see now why people have uh, a fear of the ocean and um, I can't, I forget what the uh, exact... Um, phobia of it is called, uh, but yeah, I remember we checked out, um, I think it was Subnautica on our other channel, uh, and that's a game people were like, oh yeah, I really like to play this, but I have a fear of the ocean, so I can't. There have been so many movies about the idea of what might be at the depths of the ocean that we don't, mm -hmm. that we don't know yet, because we haven't explored. Um, there is a, a, I'm sorry, but bad, <laughs> it was a bad Christmas <laughs> Stewart movie I saw, but it was about, like, the deepest part of the ocean and what monsters lurk down there. Mm. And then I also think of the Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone movie called Sphere, where there's like an alien ship at the depth of the ocean with this fear that like plays on your fears and your phobias. And it's kind of like space in that way. There's so much yeah. unexplored territory down there at the depth of the ocean that you can imagine many a terrible things if you want to spend your time doing that. <laughs> Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want more like history, life, and science type of uh, reaction videos, we got playlists down below in the description of this video. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for The Ocean is Way Deeper Than You Think by Real Life Lore, but just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive.